That's a great way to uh, buy and sell. <laughs> Not really, that was a joke. Alright, well we are here today at Ohio Valley Antique Mall. We're doing a little bit of shopping. Um, I've been shopping for a while now. I've got my friends Kate, follow that bug, and George the Antique Nomad with me. They're floating around here somewhere. Um, I'm actually picking up where I left off a few days ago. I've already done a little bit of shopping. I've got a full cart, um, but I've only done three rows and a few cases. Um, so we've got a lot more ground to cover. Uh, we're gonna see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. That's kind of cute. $75 on that Art Deco style light. I don't think I've ever seen it with the florals on it before. A lot of the times it's actually painted like dice. I see that a lot. And sometimes there's Scotty dogs on it, but I don't think I've ever seen with florals. I'm not sure I like it as much as the dice. So I think for that reason, I'll leave it. I see some puppy dogs over here. Are those clay? Two inch dogs by Linda Pleat. Huh, I don't think I've seen those before. Looks like they're intended to hang, like ornaments or something. That's cute. Enjoy your day, <laughs> Booth 214. Thank you, Booth. I am enjoying my day. Finding lots of treasures today. That's a pretty vase. This is hand-painted Southwest style pottery. Not the real McCoy. <laughs> I like that. That makes me laugh. Um, I don't know. This is a cute booth. It drew me in. It definitely drew me in. This was the lamp that did it right here. Speaking to me. <laughs> Black teal 11 inch tall lamp. $59. And it's been rewired. It's ready to go. This little couch back here is so adorable. I can't tell if it's... Oh, it's mid-century style. There you are. I was going to say, I can't tell. It looks mid-century, um, but it's just mid-century style, so it's not actually that old. It's so charming. That, that is so cute. That would have looked cute in uh, Juliet's room under her uh, loft bed. Well, we found her one, so don't need it. Your vote is cat? Yeah, that's most definitely a cat. That's a cat and cat glasses. Cat eye glasses on the cat. You know what? I think you're right. That Usually I am right about those types of things. <laughs> if it was a cat, you would know it. Now this is very pretty. This vase or mm -hmm. this dish? This vase. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. What? What's? I don't know. They're like. What's happening there? I don't know. You tell me. I was confused. Uh, they're they're grabbing the bull by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is something bad happening on that dish? Looks like they're grabbing the bull by the horns. They are seizing the day. No, they're just holding a branch. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it's a man and a woman. There's a lot happening in this I know. cart. My this cart fish is epic. Knows. Yeah, it's fish. making me quite, quite uneasy. It's okay. Everything will now, be this, fine. I want to see what this is. It's a rooster. <sighs> he is so regal. He is. That is a regal rooster. He is, yeah, definitely. I think the bell is my favorite thing, though. It's a That's bank. That's a good one. It's a bank? Uh, is that that guy? I don't know. Yeah. What guy? You know that guy? Yeah. I think that's the guy I'm thinking of. I think you got a really good deal on this, Jocelyn. You know this guy? I think I know this guy. Do you know the name? Because I couldn't figure it out. I'd have to go see Butler Jones. C. Butler Jones. I'm going to Google it and see if it's the guy I'm thinking of because I think it is and I think you got a really good deal. Sweet. I love getting good deals. This is a really cute booth over here. I was kind of digging this. Which again? 28. Looks Italian. Oh, it's got chipping on the edge. Of course it does. I was excited to get my camera out and film it for you guys. <laughs> Didn't even look to see if there was chipping. Alright. Um, let's head down this row over here. Trying to look at the rows I didn't look at yet. In the process, we lost Kate. Those are kind of fun. Jan's clay pen. In beautiful downtown Lamp of Missouri. That's a fun sticker. I feel like I need stickers like that for my stuff. In beautiful downtown Carlisle, Pennsylvania. What do we have in here? Lots of 
redone. This is kind of pretty. It reminds me of a piece that I picked up the last time I was here, but it wasn't signed. Ooh, is that made of rocks or is that made of clay? $24.95. Oh, it's a hint. I never know how to pronounce that. Um, $24.95. It is really cute. I've never seen this one before. I see a lot of frogs. I come across a lot of the frogs, but I don't think I've seen the little owl. I think we'll grab it. Let's go peek in these little nooks. I think people rent these uh, shelves. Last time I was here, I didn't really get a good look at the shelves. I figured this time... This time around, I'd make an effort, I'd come in, I'd look at the little shelves. What do we have back here? Maybe it's like for sake or something. What in the world is this? Besides Epic. It's $89.50. It's a black clay cat, but it has this orange detailing. It's $89.50. How great is that? And it's 20% off. Okay. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> That's, I don't need anything else. This is it. This is all I needed today. I'm going to put all the one bird back. Um, and we're going to get out of here. Just kidding. Just kidding. But yes, I definitely needed this in my life. I got 58 on the Gola basket. Ignore the root beer, but... <laughs> piece of royal hager $68 on that that might be one I hold on to I'm not sure we'll have to see how it uh, fits in with my sunglasses. glass we're gonna just sneak that in there look at that that's huge all right Kate says there's a nice duck over here we're gonna go look at this duck just kidding he's got a boo-boo got a chip darn it yeah he's pretty great he's a nice duck can't, can't mess with that. sorry duck sorry all right, I brought Kate over here to show her this, and then I'm staring at it, and it occurs to me it's a Terry Kreider. I don't ha I've never seen one that big. We're going to get it out. All right. So is it 20% uh, off? Cool. Yeah, we can try that. All right, thank you very much. All right, what's your name? My name is Jocelyn. Jocelyn, okay. I've got several pieces up there. I didn't notice that before, but the one in the back, that blue one behind the bird. Oh, it's not a bird, but the hole. I was trying to see what that was. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen that one before. Like some of them, like this one. What was that? What you just showed me, this one. I think I've had that one before, so it's not as exciting. When I see like the new patterns and stuff, that's when I'm like, I need to have it at least once and then I can sell it and I can say, I had that once. Ooh, thank you. That's so pretty. What do you think, Kate? I mean. <laughs> It's a yeah. It's pretty great, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. Um, can I offer 20% off as well? this as well? Yeah, that's okay. the same guy. Uh, all right, it's 22, uh, I'm sorry, 289, so that would be, yeah. You can do, do the math. I'm not I will do up. the math. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so here's another aisle that I don't think I made it down the last time. Let's see, furniture. And this one's kind of cute. And you like those little biscuit jars. <laughs> They're cute. Maybe I did come down here last time. I'm having an odd sense of deja vu with this booth. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Some nice glass in here. Ooh, what is that weird thing? Peach opalescent vase, 135. That thing's wild looking. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'm getting mixed feelings. This kind of looks like alienware. Is it? It's weird. Nouveau orange black pedestal. Looks like it does say Czechoslovakia. I think that's like some alienware bowl. Hmm. I've never seen it with a pedestal before. Okay, well this is the booth where I got that really cool vase the last time. So I wanted to check out this booth before we take off today, even though I'm probably not going to be able to see the whole mall. It was important to me to come back here and poke around. Uh, so I <laughs> figured, let's see what we could find. 
And then amazing paperweight is still here. I just don't know if I can do it. It's 64, so I'm probably just going to pick it up every time I come here and I visit this mall and this booth. I'll just pick it up and then I'll set it back down. There's a pretty base. 45. Um, I thought that was a discount, but it's not. <laughs> I still think for 45, that's, that's decent. And if I can't make any money on it, I'll keep it. That's a great way to uh, buy and sell. <laughs> Not really, that was a joke. I like that vase. I think, yeah, it's Pigeon Forge, $24 on that. I don't know how much the vase is sell for. Oh, this is, that's like an antique yellow. Or, oh, look at that. Cat fighting bird. Tech and neckle, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Is there something wrong with it? Oh, it's broken. <laughs> like, what's wrong with it? Why is it only 35? There's damage here on the wing. Also, I'm not really sure I like the statement happening here. It looks like the bird is trying to get the puppy and then the mama dog's like, I don't think so. So there's like a whole story um, evolving here. Oh, look, more Pigeon Forge. <laughs> Pigeon River. Pigeon River chipmunk. I'll take that with me. It's actually Pigeon Forge. Wait, Pigeon River? What is that? I've never heard of such a thing. I'm gonna look it up. This is kind of interesting because this is Pigeon Forge and it's the exact same chipmunk. And I'm thinking maybe this was somebody's first day and they weren't really clear on how they were supposed to sign the pieces. And so instead of signing um, Pigeon Forge, they signed Pigeon River. And then on their second day, somebody was like, oh no, have you been signing everything Pigeon River? You're supposed to be signing it Pigeon Forge. Um, and so I'm just gonna buy it. I feel like that's a good deal on it. There's another one. Pigeon River Pottery. I don't know what's happening here. This is a turtle. I'm not excited about the turtle. I don't know. He's only 14 bucks. I think we'll grab him. Um, that is just a right... It's a made in Japan horse. He's not from Pigeon River. Uh, there's a nice canister back there. It's 38 though. What are you doing? This is interesting. This is... Pat oh something something that kind of has the same texture I don't know what's going on here I'm very confused by a lot of things in this booth what is that T T E K A ceramic duck I'm gonna look that up <laughs> this is how I learn new things I see something new I look it up and um, I get an idea for what it sells for all right so I don't really see many of these sold there's a cat that sold for pretty decent money um, $75 as a matter of fact. This duck, I don't know if this is Tika. That's what it is, right? Tika? Oh, it is Tika Studio Bird. Sold for $185 in 2019. That's kind of nuts. Um, I don't know. Are they worth picking up? Maybe. How much were they? I don't even remember at this point. Uh, let's look again. This is 16 And this weirdo, that one's not marked. Is it? Maybe it has a faint marking on it. How much is he? He doesn't even have a he doesn't even have a price tag. I don't think we can buy him. Gosh, he's so fun and weird. Maybe we'll just grab him. He's kind of similar. Maybe we'll ask him at the front desk if they could call and maybe try to get a price. I, I am going to grab this though. Check out this bronze. I'm almost wondering if this is Austrian bronze. Um, it's 60 bucks, but I know that some of these bronze pieces can be big bucks. I don't see any damage on it, so I think I'm going to grab it. Um, it still has some of that cold painting on it. It's not completely worn off, so for 60 bucks, I'm also going to grab this. And then um, I'm going to do one final scan of this booth because it's been good to me. Um, and I'm going to start making my way up towards the checkout. I have not seen the entire mall. Uh, I'm telling you, this place is... is big there's a lot to see um, and every time I come here it's like I just get overwhelmed I get overwhelmed and uh, kind of a little bit overstimulated and I can't I just can't focus after a while because I'm just there's too much happening um, so yeah I guess let's uh, start heading that way I want to know what you have to say about this who makes oh. this uh, Howard Pierce or Sorsha Boru maybe I'm not getting it am I let's see Pigeon Forge. Oh. No, it doesn't say Pigeon Forge. It doesn't? See, my eyes are no good. Um, <laughs> something 
Okay, you're gonna have to tell me. It says me. Pigeon River. Pigeon River? What is Pigeon River? I'm not familiar with Pigeon River. See, my theory is it was this person's first day on the job. Uh -huh. And they were confused, and they didn't know they were supposed to write Pigeon Forge on Forge. the bottom of it. So here they are writing Pigeon River. It's on all this interesting. Story. It's possible, because that was a family concern, and then they would sometimes hire seasonal workers because yeah. of the tourist trade. So... Because it, it sure looks like they're inscription it looks, otherwise. Yes, it looks just like all the Pigeon Forge like I have ever seen. Forge, the, and I turned it over, and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, and and I mean, then, even this shape looks like a Pigeon Forge. So throw piece. the weirdness in it. There's another there's one. There's this. And this one doesn't look anything like any Pigeon Forge I've ever seen. And it is marked Pigeon River. Not the way that it's glazed, exactly. Hmm. So is it Pigeon Forge, or was there somebody down the street copying them and selling isn't stuff with a so slightly weird? different name? Yeah. Oh, well, this is a good mystery. I know. Isn't out. it fun? <laughs> I'm like, I want to buy it just because it's weird. <laughs> exactly. You know, that sometimes that's the thing to do because it could be some strange variant or like they, they had a fight. Somebody left and started their own thing. Uh -huh. And it could be very obscure. So cool. It's so wild. Oh, I'm glad you picked those up. I only recently started even looking at Pigeon Forge animals. Really? I mean, I only saw dogwood uh, all the time. Dogwood, yeah. dogwood, dogwood. And I'm like, I know they must have made something else. And yeah. there you go. Very oh, that's, fun. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Just a few goodies. All right. Well, I'm going out to the parking lot to get the car. Um, our total spend today, it was a whopper. It was $2,700. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but we got some amazing glass. I'm so excited um, to get this glass listed. I will probably list it first on knickknacks, um, and then maybe down the road. Um, I might move it over to eBay, but I think I'm gonna go knickknacks first. So if you're interested in any of that glass, make sure you check out knickknacks.net. Um, before I end this video, if you're not subscribed to Kate or George, go and check out their channels. I'll try to link them down below for you. But um, yeah, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head down the road, head up the next Valley Thrift. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to wait for that video, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. So.